What's up, friends and followers? Michael McFarland here, gonna give you a Lake Fork rundown. We are talking, I think, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I talked to you last Monday, Monday evening. Um, lake parameters. Let's talk lake level first. As of Monday, we are 402.85. By the end of the week, 402.76, all right? That's literally just a little more than an inch and a half worth of dropping by the end of the week. Stable, perfect, okay? Um, I had yesterday off, so I'm not gonna give you information about yesterday, obviously. But the water temperature parameters, the same kind of thing. Pretty stable, uh, Tuesday morning, 82.6, 86 by the end of the day. Wednesday morning, 84, 86.1 by the end of the day. I was off Thursday. We had a pretty good wind yesterday. It seemed to have cooled the water down just a little bit. 80.1 this morning. Only had a half a day today. 83.4 on its way back up. But it's sitting in that nice 80 degree, four to five degree swing on a daily basis. What happens is the nighttime cool air, cool water sinks. So the nighttime cool air cools the surface, the surface begins to get heavy and sinks, and we have a little bit of cool trend at night, warm trend back in the day. Very, very healthy. Lake Clarity, the same that it's been for the past probably month, one to three foot visibility. Um, Lake Fort Greene in most places, it is starting to have some of the summer brown. As that hotter water gets hotter and hotter, the bacteria grows and junk in the water grows and algae grows and it does start to turn a little bit more brown um, but overall the water clarity is excellent one to three foot visibility okay so that's the rundown of the lake parameters for this week fishing this week man in a roundabout way you need to launch right at daybreak and you should be done by 9 30 10 o'clock because you're just not catching much in the middle of the day at least for me. Um, I hear consensus pretty much by nine o'clock it fades. The bite first thing in the morning can be on fire. If you're in the right spot it is fast furious and it will keep them coming one after another. Um, again it fades pretty quickly. So for example this morning um, I had two very nice brothers and uh, uh, the one of the gentlemen was 80 years old and he brought a loose speed stick that was almost 50 years old. Um, the rod was probably made for crappie and two pound bass, let alone, uh, he had, I think, eight pound test on this thing. Um, and it was what he wanted to use. Um, we weren't gonna force the issue and try and do anything or learn, we were gonna let him use it. Um, the first cast was a Lake Fork Special. And let me tell you what, it gave him a run for his money it was under the boat, on the other side of the boat, at the engine, at the trolling motor. It was chaos. In fact, I had to turn the spot lock off in which the wind blew the boat and made the other lines and other things just get even more chaos. It was quite, quite the silly little scramble to start the morning off. But we got that fish in the boat. If you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you saw his excitement. He couldn't even get up on the decks of the boat. He was sitting down in the gully of the boat in one of the regular riding chairs, um, but he was ecstatic. So Leonard, my pleasure to have you, to, sir, 80 years old, caught a beautiful Lake Fork special with me today. Thanks for being with me. Um, basically, that's kind of the gist of the fishing. The morning, crack it down till nine o'clock, Evening bite. It doesn't come around till about after four, but the evening bite is just as good. If you're in the right spot as the evening progresses, it tends to get better and better and better. And if you're a nighttime fisherman, if you're not fishing Lake Fork in the dark, if you're not fishing the night lights, it's not always about the night lights. Some of these offshore structures and shallow humps like Heartbreak Ridge in the middle of the night can get your arm hurt. Okay. If you aren't fishing in the nighttime right now, you've completely missed the boat. They're crushing the big fish, absolutely crushing them. Whit Smith, get booked with Whit Smith. Randy Oldfield, one of the best we've ever had on the lake. Get booked with one of those guys. 
do a nighttime trip. My good friend Philip Montana, he's doing nighttime trips. Get one of these guys and don't miss out on some of the best bass fishing of your lifetime. So, all right, just real quick, gonna tell you what we're doing. Most everything I've caught the fish on this week has been the Santone 5 16th ounce shaky head with a Magnum trick worm, watermelon candy red, and I'm dipping the tail chartreuse. I'm throwing this on a five power real time rods, which is a 1225. This is a seven foot three MB 1225 with the added McFarland signature. Daiwa Tatula 150. Okay, that's a 150 Tatula with a 7-3 gear ratio, 20-pound fluorocarbon. Hit them, hit them hard, and bring them home. Don't mess around. Don't let them get you caught up and wrapped up in the trees. Drag locked pretty much, except just a little slip for the hook set. Hit them and bring them home. That's what we've been doing, folks. I got one more day tomorrow. Um, it's getting to the end of the season. I'm only offering half-day trips for sale now, um, typically all the way through July and August. Um, I prefer to do the mornings only, but I do offer some evenings as well. They're very limited. I'm running out of dates, so any of you that have makeup dates, if you're wanting to get fish, you better get with me now. Um, you're going to miss out. We're going to have to push into fall, September, October, and November. Um, but if you want to get in on this hot fishing, get booked now. So. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up below. Have any questions, any comments, put them below. I'll do my best to get back to you. Um, appreciate you all watching. Send me those big fish pictures. God bless you. And uh, I wish you all great fishing. I'm Mike McFarland, the Lake Fork Guide, giving you the Lake Fork Rundown.